Hello everybody, it's a me, Mario, and I'm a Luigi. And here we are with part two to the top 40 amazing weather phenomenon. Now we're not gonna waste any time, we're just gonna get straight into this. We're going to 21 this time, so let's just go ahead. Here we go, 32. Fall streak, whole cloud. What? A fall streak hole cloud, or hole punch hole cloud, is a large circular or elliptical gap that can appear in a seriocumulus or altocumulus clouds. Such holes are formed when the water temperature in the clouds is below freezing, but the water has not frozen yet due to the lack of ice nucleation particles. When ice crystals do form, it will set off a domino effect due to the Bergeson process, oh. causing the water droplets around the crystals to evaporate. This leaves a large, often circular, hole in the cloud. Okay. Fall streak hole clouds have been spotted around the world recently. The main sightings have been in Romania, Moscow, Malta, and Florida. Oh. Other theories as to the creation or forces that form fall streak hole clouds yeah. range from them being UFO clouds, mm -hmm. crop circle clouds, yep. or also the product of government technology such as harp. I always thought harp was a musical instrument. Yeah, well, I guess it can be determined with weather, too. 31. Sun halos. Ah. Like rainbows, sun halos are formed around the sun due to the moisture being refracted from the sun's rays in the upper atmosphere. Halos around the sun happen when high, thin, cirrus clouds are drifting high above. That music, though. Tiny ice crystals in the Earth's atmosphere cause the halos. Oh. They do this by refracting and reflecting the light. Sometimes, two or more areas of the circle or arc surrounding the sun will be brighter, forming what are called sun dogs. Ah. Halos can also form around the moon and occasionally around the brighter stars and planets like Venus. Okay. The colors of a halo can differ, like a rainbow, depending on how it is dispersed after reflection and refraction. Wow. Okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah. We're at 30, guys. We're almost there to 21 already. Double rainbow. Oh. A double rainbow is a very rare weather phenomenon caused by double reflection of sunlight inside the raindrops. Okay. It appears at an angle of 50 degrees to 53 degrees. Oh. The second and more faint rainbow is called the secondary rainbow. It occurs when refracted light does not escape the raindrop after being reflected the first time. Ah. Instead, the reflected light reflects off the raindrop surface a second time as well, producing a secondary rainbow with its colors reversed compared to the primary rainbow. Okay. Unfortunately, fewer light rays are available to undergo the additional refraction process. Oh. So the resulting secondary rainbows appear less vivid and faint. Right. Triple and even quadruple rainbows are possible, depending on how many times refracted light is reflected ah. within a rainbow. Luigi, it's okay, bro. That scared me, man. You see why I'm hiding behind you, bro? Yeah, I know. 29. Light pillars. Ah. Light pillars, or light poles, is an atmospheric phenomenon. It can be seen at night over the large cities with different colored lights. Okay. They can only be seen during very cold weather at minus 20 degrees Celsius or lower. Nice. The pillars are not physically over the lights or anywhere else in space for that matter. Okay. Like all halos, they are purely collected light beams from all the millions of crystals which just happen to be reflecting light towards your eyes or the camera. Nice! Artificial light pillars can be much taller than their natural counterparts because rays from the lights are not parallel and plate crystals with small tilts can still reflect them downward. The higher the crystals in the atmosphere, the taller the pillar. Oh. When the crystals are very high, or the light sources are close, the pillars seem to radiate from overhead. Now, we would say other comments, but you see, we don't want to talk over Tats' crew when they're reading this. That's why we try not to say long comments. Mamatis clouds. Oh. These odd-shaped clouds are often associated with a storm front, especially one involving a thunderstorm. It's not completely understood how they form. 
True to their ominous appearance, Mamantis clouds are often harbingers of a coming storm or other extreme weather system. Okay. Typically composed primarily of ice, they can extend for hundreds of miles in each direction, and individual formations can remain visibly static for 10 to 15 minutes at a time. Nice! While they may appear foreboding, they are merely the messengers before or even after severe weather. Yeah, that's kind of cool, bro. Yeah, I know. And we're about to hit 21. That's another cool thing, bro. Yeah, it sure is. Novia Zimla effect. Oh. The Novia Zimla effect is a polar mirage caused by high refraction of sunlight between atmospheric thermoclines. Okay. The Novia Zimla effect will give the impression that the sun is rising earlier than it should. Oh. And depending on the meteorological situation, yeah. the effect will present the sun as a line or a square made up of flattened hourglass shapes. Oh. Light refracted through atmospheric temperature inversions can cause images of objects below the horizon to rise up into view. Cool! This phenomenon is called glooming. Mm. The Novia Zimla effect occurs in Arctic regions where tracks of cold air remain uniquely stable over hundreds of kilometers, oh. creating a special instance of a meteorological temperature inversion. The distortion, powerful enough to bend light through four or five degrees, can make celestial bodies like the sun or moon appear wholly above the horizon when they are physically below it. So it's a polar mirage, huh? Yeah. If you guys heard that sniff, I apologize. Sun shelter for 59's nose is a little bit stuffed up. Mirage. Oh, there goes a mirage. Mirages occur when light is refracted to produce an image of an object or the sky where it simply isn't. Okay. A mirage is usually most noticeable on hot and sunny days. The most common kind is one where it appears that there is a pool. Oh. However, when you get close to it, you realize that it just simply is not there. Okay. Warm air is less dense than cool air, and the variation between the hot air at the surface of the road yeah. and the denser cool air above it uh -huh. creates a gradient and in refractive index of the air. Cool. Objects that attempt to enter the mirage will appear to melt or disappear completely. Oh. However, in reality, they don't. They're unaffected. All right, then. Yeah, it looks like a heat wave down there, though. 25. We're about to be done. We just got to get to 21. Roll cloud. Roll cloud. Roll clouds can be hundreds of kilometers long. Don't mix them up. And just as the name suggests... They roll. With the morning glories. This is because of cold air rushing out of a downdraft from a storm front. Oh. Lifting warm air, which cools, and sometimes forms this type of cloud. Okay. Roll clouds have been seen over coastal areas, such as California, the English Channel, Shetland Islands, Eastern Russia, and other maritime regions of Australia. All right. Now, depending on the conditions, a roll cloud can last for several hours and extend for several hundred miles. The roll cloud will appear to be slowly rolling about its horizontal axis. Yeah. However, it does not produce tornadoes, as intimidating as it looks. So even though it looks intimidating, it doesn't produce tornadoes. Yeah, but the roll cloud actually rolls, as its name says. 24. Sun Pillars. Sun Pillar. Sun pillars are a halo phenomenon of a vertical shaft of light extending upward or downward from the sun. Typically seen during the sunrise or sunset, sun pillars form when sunlight reflects off the surfaces of ice crystals associated with thin, high-level clouds. The hexagonal plate-like ice crystals fall with a horizontal orientation, gently rocking from side to side as they fall. Okay. When the sun is low on the horizon, an area of brightness appears in the sky above or below the sun ah. as sunlight is reflected off the surfaces of these tipped ice crystals. Sun pillars are seen best within a few minutes of sunrise or sunset. Initially, they have about the same color and width as the sun. But sun pillars will gradually change their color from orange-white to red-orange. Well, what do you know? That's cool. Yep, 23. We're about to be near 21, guys. Noctilucent clouds. Wow! Oh my gosh! Noctilucent clouds are atmospherically high clouds Those are cool. that refract light at dusk when the sun is already set, Ooh. illuminating the sky with no seeming light source. The clouds are seasonal, 
so they are only seen from mid-May to mid-August. Okay. Noctilucent clouds become visible about the same time as the brightest stars are usually bluish or silvery, okay. but sometimes orange or reddish. They most closely resemble thin, streaky, serious clouds and are thought to be made of ice crystals. Noctilucent clouds are the highest cloud in Earth's atmosphere. Forming above 200,000 feet, oh. they are typically faint, but occasionally become visible during twilight when the sun is below the horizon and the clouds become illuminated. All right. No one's quite sure why they form, and indeed they weren't seen before 1885, and so there is some suggestion that they are linked with man-made climate change. I'm sorry if I heard the sniffing sound again. That was Sunshot 3459 as usual. We told you his nose is stuffed up a little bit. But he is able to do our voices still. Red moon and blue moon. Oh. Due to different atmospheric issues, the moon will occasionally appear tinged with a color. This can be caused by excess smoke or dust, or even eclipses. Ah. This could all play into the effect that makes the moon appear to change color. Okay. Red moons, which can usually be caused by dust particles or lunar eclipses, yeah. are much more common than blue moons. All right. Blue-colored moons do occur, but very rarely, when dust or smoke particles in the air are of a very specific size. Okay. Such particles help create a blue-colored moon by scattering blue light. Hmm. The phrase, once in a blue moon, is colloquially used to suggest that something is very rare. Indeed. The more you know. Yep, the more you know. The more you know is more to show. That's what Silver told us him whenever he was ran to this. But yeah, guys, we hope you guys did indeed enjoy part two of the top 40 amazing weather phenomenon. Now, basically, um, you guys probably can't tell by the computer's time, but it's actually like 10 o'clock right now. And Sunshell 3459 goes to bed at like 1030. So he wants to have time to do some stuff while he's at it. So we'll have to do parts three and four the tomorrow. But yeah. Well, basically, the day we recorded part one and part two was today on Tuesday. So Wednesday will be when we do part three and four. Even though, you know, Sunshine 3459 is going to be here at seven instead of four like usual time. But Thursday, he will be here at four. But anyways, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And me and Mario will see you on another video. I mean, well, in part three of the weather phenomenon. Yep, we sure will. See you later, everybody. Bye-bye, everybody. Wahoo!